Hey guys, what is up? Stephanie here and for today's video I'm actually going to be doing another one of my real and raw videos and if you guys like these kinds of videos don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also subscribe and hit the little bell notification that way you can kind of get notified every time I upload a video and you won't miss out on any of the fun so without further ado, let's get into it <laughs> today's video I'm gonna be talking to you guys all about chasing your dreams and kind of what I go through whenever I'm trying to chase a dream or anything like that so I hope you guys can relate because this is a video that is kind of close to me because I've been going through this recently and I hope you guys can find it helpful so yeah <laughs> So first of all, when it comes to chasing your dreams, there are so many different dreams to chase and I think it's important to not be like me where I'm the type of person that tends to compare myself in a lot of different ways to other people that are chasing the same dream I have where I'm like, oh my god, that person's so far ahead into the avenue of dream that I want to chase. Like, I'll never be able to make it or why would I even try? And it's such a sucky kind of mentality to have because that can discourage you on so many levels and kind of push you away from wanting to continue your dream. For example, if you're the type of person that wants to start a YouTube channel, who wants to upload videos, anything like that, you may see other YouTubers with 1.5 million followers and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be as good as them. So I think when it comes to following your dreams, number one, you kind of have to eliminate that mindset of comparison because comparison kills man and i know personally of this because i do it all the time without realizing it and it's really bad to do so for number one for starters when it comes to chasing your dreams make sure that you eliminate comparison because comparison literally kills dreams number two when it comes to chasing your dreams i would have to say to not be such a perfectionist because I feel like if you're the type of person that isn't so much of a perfectionist when it comes to things, then you kind of go with the flow of chasing your dreams. And even if you go through a stumbling block, you're not going to let that hinder you. And you're also going to use that as motivation to kind of push you forward. And number three, that kind of goes... Everything goes hand in hand. So, you know. <laughs> number three, that kind of goes hand in hand with everything again, is to make sure that if you want to chase your dream, you want to follow your dream, that you sharpen your craft. Whatever it is, to be a dancer, a singer, an actor, a YouTuber, whatever it is, sharpen your craft because there's no way they're going to be good at what you want to do if you don't practice it. So if you want to be a singer, make sure you practice, you sing, you do all that good stuff because if you don't, then you probably won't be as good as you would want to be. So make sure that you practice in every avenue as you can and that way you can kind of be able to be closer to chasing your dreams. Number four would have to be to try to eliminate those that are kind of being negative and not pushing you to where you want to go because I feel like once you eliminate all of those distractions and eliminate all of those people that are just toxic and that aren't pushing you to where you want to go then I think you're gonna get to your dream much faster and you know easier you know life's a dream. <laughs> So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the four simple things that I think is important to have when it comes to chasing your dreams and especially now that it's a new year, we're almost to February, not yet, and people are kind of, you know, settling into 2018 and this is kind of where if you really want 2018 to be a good year and a great year, you kind of have to turn your dreams into reality and I think that's something that's super big for me right now, um, just in general and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I decided to literally, I just started filming out of nowhere. I was like, I'm gonna film today. So that's why my hair is like literally just in a ponytail, have no makeup on. It's just me on this real and raw, you know, video. And I hope you guys loved it. <laughs> As I said before, if you guys like this kind of video, make sure you guys thumbs it up because I like making these real and raw videos because they're super fun and I think they're really relatable. So 2018 is the year to turn your dreams into reality. And yeah, make sure you guys also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter so that that way we can stay connected. And yeah, hope you guys are excited for new videos coming soon. That was it for today's video. I will see you guys next time. Deuces! <laughs>